Good morning. As uh, some of you may know out there, aspiring was discovered uh, using uh, Canadian identities from dead people and others uh, that they found through Canada, United States, and a few other countries around the world. I was just listening to the news, they were using passports from all over the world to get around. One of the weapons that terrorists and spies and others use is the internet. And I'm sure that uh, as much as they have their own accounts using false names, they can also use unprotected Wi-Fi setups. And by this I mean if you have a wireless setup in your house using a router for multiple computers like I do, uh, you need to protect your network. You need to put a password on it. You need to put the highest security on it. And to help you out with this, if you have no idea how to do it, or if you're not even sure, type in the following in YouTube. How to secure your network. There are many, many, many uh, videos on this. I just watched one in England. That one was very good. There's some in Canada, United States. It's full of geeks out there that will tell you how to do it. And the reason I say this is because you want to limit access to your internet because ultimately you're responsible for your own internet. You, you can't sit there and deny, oh I didn't do it, it's not my fault. It, ultimately people who download illegal content and, and other things like that are going to use your wireless router because that way they're undetectable unless they get caught parked in front of your house doing it. But your neighbors, especially if you live in an apartment building, my son has an iPod and uh, we, we just laugh every time we drive around and he has it with him. Uh, he's got a program that will find unsecured, unprotected Wi-Fi networks. They're all over the place. Uh, you know, like one, one time we were stopped at a red light in front of an apartment building and he counted like 10. Uh, it's incredible. Uh, people need to secure themselves up. And if you have a neighbor, and if you, you know them, I mean, don't go knocking on strangers' doors, but if you if you have a neighbor that you detect has a wireless and you're an honest person, let them know. So you just go on YouTube, they'll tell you how to do it. I, I'm not going to sit here and tell you I'm not uh, that savvy. I had to go through the instructions that came with uh, my modem in order to do it. But they'll tell you how to get access to it, they'll tell you how to secure it, and the other thing is, is that you're paying for that. You're paying for If they download illegal music and movies and everything else, it's going to chew up all your bandwidth and you're going to end up getting these bills like I did. Because I had an old router, um, the encryption wasn't very good on it and I got hacked by a neighbor and I went out and bought a more up-to-date router with much better security. And all of a sudden the uh, internet van showed up at their house and they had to be hooked up. Uh, at least I knew who did it. I'm not going to point fingers, it's pointless. But the thing is, is that they, they ran up my bill. Um, I use a lot of, the, because of the YouTube activity that I do, I use a lot of internet. And uh, I'm sure them downloading whatever, or surfing or playing games or whatever they were doing on my router uh, didn't help with my bandwidth usage. I always go over my limit and uh, I end up having to pay uh, it through the roof. Anyway, that's all for now. Like I said, get your, get your router uh, secured and uh, stop those spies and terrorists and neighbors that have no conscience. Have a nice day.